the yes. Yes. Oh, the yes man. Hello. Yes. How how are you doing, yes man? Yes. <laughs> are you going to, to TwitchCon with Justin next week? Yes. Oh, there you go. There's your echo. Yes. Are you looking forward to it? Are you going to try to get any... <laughs> Oh, I'm really excited for it. Wow. Yes. <laughs> uh, now, how are, are you, are you like Justin when you go to the conventions? Yes, man. Do you, do you like to hang out and just like chillax? Uh, yes. But, uh, yes. But you like to go and mingle, right? Yes. Yes. Well, I, th I think you're going to have a really good time. Say hi to all the DKG kids. All the, all the drunk kids gaming people will be out there. So oh, there you go. I mean, would it have killed him to just, you know, just roll with it, just a little media opportunity, but instead, just, you know. He's a real bitch. He's a real catty little bitch, that Kylo Ren. He's I just being around, just being a real fat bitch. I like that you just described it as a media opportunity, like you were doing him a favor. I mean, you know, I'd look, if you have a billion dollars, who wouldn't want a billion and one? I mean, why why turn that down? Okay, let's pick a title, and then we're going to look at this video that you sent me. Mm. In which I wilt immediately under fire. Uh, uh, so we've got uh, suggestions here at nightattack.showbot.tv. Thank you, everybody, who's using the new Nightbot. Uh, brought to you by BioCow. Uh, crickets, crickets, crickets. <laughs> uh, life is a high school. Murder she cosplayed is not very is not bad. Murder, murder she cosplayed is pretty good. <laughs> uh, sexy brushwood, uh, but also these titties. Dad <laughs> AF. Dad as fuck. Dad AF. Yeah. Allergic to lines. Famous as fuck. Two point oh. Uh, life is a high school. Life is a high school. I'm going to attend it all semester long. Uh, <laughs> That's hey now, my lady you're voice. Epcot. <laughs> Life is a high school. I'm going to be high while I'm doing this too. <laughs> <laughs> Lansbury Blunt. Life is a high school. You can cheat at both of them too. <laughs> Life is a high school. Your music teacher's fucking your girlfriend still. <laughs> uh, Halloween horror night attack. All right. Oh, I, I really on. like Lansbury Blondes. Lansbury Blondes to me. Is, that's that's a that's a name. That's something that you want to call something. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> uh, I'm cool with any of the above, man. Cool. We'll do Lansbury Blondes. I, although I do like Murder, She Cosplay. <clears throat> Them crickets, though. Sexy Ooh. Gandalf. Gandalf in hot pants. You're killing me. All right. Oh, uh, God. I know. Yeah. He, I mean, he, he joins he's, uh, Gandalf the White after tonight. <laughs> the way he's acting with those hot pants. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Going to catch it. Think, think about it, Brian. Uh, so, okay. it so this clip that you sent along is only about a minute. Is only about I don't a minute. know. That... Yeah, I haven't. I have, I have not brought myself to look at it. But I. Oh, you it haven't watched starts... it. Starts. No, I haven't even seen it. Uh, if it starts at the beginning, you immediately see me shut down and realize I've got no moves. Well, let's see. Please wait right behind that line. So this is me trying to set it up here. Okay, so you set up. You you pulling. All right. So now, all right. Number one. Brian, you've already lost this negotiation. Uh, we, you, have, <laughs> you have yet to say a word, but you are you are Florida theme park fucked. Like you can just tell by the gate, right? That you are you've already been in this park for too long, and and you already you you have your eyes down. But at the point that you meet Kylo Ren's gaze, he is like Oklahoma drill. Like got his is his feet planted. He is ready to melt you. No, I'm I'm about to look up into the face of Arlie Ermy and uh, <laughs> and and try to propose that he do a hilarious jaint. I have a friend who thinks he does a version. Oh, you don't even get through the whole sentence. 
<laughs> I have a friend who does a good. Oh, there's power within you. <laughs> yes, and, 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 and with and with a move that uh, you most often see at uh, uh, middle school Whoa. dances. Uh, Brian is is doing the the bottom of my shirt just won't get flat. Like, no amount of fidgeting to the bottom of his shirt, but it needs to get flat somehow. I don't know. I love that uh, the 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 cast member playing Kylo immediately like switches sides with you and like completely dominates the physicality moment. He does. He does. He does. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is Brian has decided. Nope, 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 nope. You're doing a bit. You're gonna. I'm gonna give you your space, and maybe I'll get space later. In in, in that moment, like like I knew, I knew. I was like, well, maybe 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 he'll ask a question, uh, and and be chatty because normally like they're really good at, at chatting stuff up, but mm -hmm. but but like like everything like you can tell like the dominating presence they are manufacturing a very real un discomfort here. Mm -hmm. And by the no. way, I awesome. uh, like like let me let me let me say this to people who are only listening. This is great. This is actually <laughs> like better than what I would have thought these that these kind of experiences would be. Yeah. Well, and, and what's interesting is Kylo Ren had the shortest line. Uh, longest was BB-8 at like 40 minutes, and then Chewbacca was like 35. Kylo Ren, 20 minutes. And um, uh, and, and there are kids like, uh, uh, it was awesome because the stormtroopers, like in that facility, the stormtroopers are constantly walking around and they're not nice. They're they're telling people to move and get over there. What are you doing? Wait, why are you here? Like interrogating people? And there are Pick kids hiding behind their parents. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it it's I mean you could tell that there is some white paper saying yes the story we are doing here is terrifying kids about space Nazis. I have a friend who thinks he does a push. Oh my god. <laughs> It's just the buzzsaw of Kylo Ren because you go right into because like there's a moment when it's certainly not your fucking body language, but it is in your voice where you're like, all right, fucking cast member. I'm a I've toured internationally. I know how to command a stage. And so your voice comes with all that stage presence. of. So I got a friend and he's like, look, there is. And you're like, OK, I'm shutting up. I guess I'm not. Uh, and clearly, like, the cast member's like, there's no kid I need to impress or, like, I, I need to play along with. Like, dude, shut up and let me do my bit and go. Just, but, but one more time, I need to hear Brian's uh, 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 just, like, just shattering. Yeah, and, and by the way, before before you replay this, just, just I want you to realize what you're not seeing is that that every, like, he's got a backup crew radiating this hostility. Like, he's got three Imperial... Uh, cast members there, all of which like radiating this we are not effing around yeah. uh, attitude. Here we go. I have a friend who thinks he does There's a version. This is the the pastiche of just this frame. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna make a. I'm just gonna make a. Can someone just screen cap this? Oh, you know what? I can do it in VLC. I think. Never. Right, we'll do it. We'll do it later. Screen grab. Screen grab this right now. Make it your uh, uh, computer background. <laughs> just because it's it's <laughs> it's very it's a it's a mixture of like I'm just trying to have a good time. And maybe the box art of like a a a porno about to go down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Kylo oh, does have daddy issues. Oh! I'm in for it. Excellent. <laughs> I'm in. I'm all in. Oh. <laughs> this is a moment that every human being on the planet understands. 
<laughs> when you yes. are going from a conversation face to face and then whiplashed into a full body moment where you have to pose and you don't know what you're supposed to do. <laughs> yes. It would peak dad. Dude, that's well, it's so not a dad thing. It, this is a universal human emotion. This is going to oh be in the God. next yes, 10. <sighs> Scanning right here, sir. <laughs> he didn't even do the hand thing. Play it. <laughs> I, I, I was too blown away. I was oh, trying to no. figure out. Brian was done with this conversation <laughs> as soon as you fucking interrupted him. That was yes. just, all right. In fact, yes. it, it, the only thing that I know is going on, and Brian mentioned it before, so it's kind of cheating. But now all I can see on Brian's face is he's just like, all right, divert all powers to uh, anyway, see you later at the end. Just don't fuck up anyway, see you later at the end. I just need to say anyway, see you later at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's exactly what happened. What I love is even then, the conversation was not done. Kyla still had to tell you to get out. And you do the hand wave. You do like oh. a good job oh. hand wave. Oh my god. That was Brian, you nailed it, but the one thing you didn't do is just exit. Exit out. You just anyway, see you later. Half turn, walk the fuck out. <laughs> As, as if he's going to be the one to turn around and leave at that moment. <laughs> no, 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 no. What you really wanted was him to be like. Podcast fan Kylo Ren. That's what you really <laughs> wanted to happen, but you stayed there after anyway. Oh. See you later. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> anyway, should I go? <laughs> uh yeah, man. Um Dude, that oh. was that was awesome. So wait, uh uh so are you guys doing Disney every day that you're there or, or are you doing uh any of the other Orlando haunts? We did, uh, we got in a day early and I went and did Universal Orlando and my biggest, deepest regret, um, you, you, you've not seen or, uh, or Universal Orlando since they added Diagon Alley, right? Oh, you know, I've been there twice. Okay. So, you know, they, they put it in a very unassuming corner and it's, it's not great. labeled. Yeah. Oh no, it's awesome. <clears throat> and, uh. Uh, it's that was on the list of Penny's must do's and non negotiables and all that stuff. And getting to see both Penny and Bonnie's reaction was utterly and completely priceless. Utterly and completely priceless. Uh, and because uh, uh, your friend of mine, uh, Zach Holder, uh, w uh, had a free day, he took us on the, uh, the guided tour experience. Um, but also because he's Zach Holder, he decided to mess with me and make sure that I was the one who got pulled up on stage to um, uh, to uh, <laughs> sing and dance with the dancing girls in Diagon Alley. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, it was I was I was equally dad AF. And uh, uh, the moment it was <laughs> over, uh, I was like, well, felt good to be performing again on stage at Universal Orlando. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, it was great. It, like I, I'm, I'm just so, just so adorably wrapped up in the the doing the dad thing. It's it's been a blast. And uh, uh, thank you to, you know, to Zach for being so awesome, and uh, and taking us around. It was good. Have have you? Actually, have you uh, I, so that that was the first time that you'd been to Diagon Alley since it went up, right? Uh, no, I had been taken on a short walkthrough of everything when uh, I, I did some consulting uh, on, a, on some stuff. And uh, so I had a trip out there and was able to see it. Um, so I knew a little bit of what to expect for the kids. But I was just so dialed in on 
what they were doing and their reactions that I forgot to take video, which is a real bummer. You know, you know, I once got recognized in Diagon Alley by a Diamond Club fan. What? Yeah. And uh, and yeah. they risked their own employment to break character to to like uh throw the 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 Diamond Club symbol. Our gang sign. Around. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's Man, those was it's ever happened to me. Those those are I, 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 I uh, to anybody who sees us out in the real world, just know that moments like those are uh, the most precious thing in the world to us. Like like it, it it's it's surreal and wonderful and delightful and it, it certainly makes my day anytime that happens. Uh I'm trying to think of what else is there. I was trying to uh because it, it, there's a possibility that that Ash and I might do basically a long Florida week leading into Thanksgiving. Uh, not only because it'll probably be about as expensive as trying to fly in and out during peak Thanksgiving times, uh, but also because it'll be after TwitchCon, it'll be after PAX Unplugged and everything, and we can just kind of like make uh, a, a little time out of it. But like I, I keep trying to sell her on the fact that like the Orlando theme parks are like really, really, really worth doing. And she has this very stubborn Ohio, like, no, if it's not fucking Cedar Point, then it can eat shit. It can fucking eat all the shit. <laughs> this is an accurate impression of my wife, Ashley Paramore, <laughs> uh, fake gamer girl on Twitch. It sucks shit, you piece of shit. If it's not fucking Cedar Point, it can go to fucking hell. Here's what you do. You need to validate that opinion and say, uh, in terms of pure roller coasters, you are 100% right. And if what you want is just straight up thrills and you don't want the the fancy horseshit, then then yes, 100%, all of that. Also, yeah. um, you can like the WCW and the WWE uh, for very different reasons. And uh, uh, let's uh, wouldn't it be a hilarious jape if we pretended to like WCW for a weekend? Man, this is Brian. I talk to you so I can get different metaphors than the ones I'm trying to use. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to speak your language. I'm trying to be too good. <laughs> no, 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 no. Absolutely, no. It's uh, I, and to be honest, I, I actually now I'm not. I wasn't kidding earlier. Like I, I, I'm really into the idea of uh, of doing like an on a uh, a uh, uh, on property Disney day like just because i would like to not never in my life in my adult life have i been able to like live that sweet uh consequence free lifestyle of just like staggering through disney um i got a friend who's you know a 20 plus year veteran and and he does a fair amount of drinking out here and i was just like well so what um you know let's say we go to you know food and wine and you know i drive the car um, is it okay for me to take the bus back and uh, and leave the car overnight? Is that going to be a problem? And and he was like, you know, his eyes were like, uh, son, let me sit you down and tell you some stories. And I heard stories about him not having any idea where he had parked his car, not it being five in the morning and they're at Magic Kingdom or wherever, um, you know, just blackout drunk. And then a cop comes up and be like, "Hey guys, what's going on here?" You know, just super friendly, and uh, and just like you're like, ah, we don't know where our car is. We're 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 pretty hammered, and and it's like, uh, why did I take you home? And it's like, well, what about our car? He's like, you know what? Just give me the keys. We'll find it. And then uh, he's like, he's like, oh, are you sure? He's like, yeah, sure. And uh, went to bed, slept it off, woke up at four in the afternoon the next day, and his car was parked right in front of his on property place. And oh God. Just uh, taking care of, taking care of. Well, number one, uh, uh, what, what people need to understand is those are not cops, right? Like they have their own well, security I, I think, force. I think there, I think there are. I mean, like, uh, so, so there, I, there are that's something there I asked, are cops I, there. There are like there is a Orange County Sheriff there, but I believe they have their own kind of like. Uh, Buena Vista Gardens, whatever. Like, I mean, like, since they are they are a company town, the company town has a police force that is well versed in what 
would be really great if it happened for all these guests. Well, and that doesn't mean getting away with anything illegal. It just means stuff like that. Yeah. Well, and, and, and I asked, I was like, you know, well, like, uh, you know, how are they on enforcement? Oh, oh. they wanted oh. to shut him down. Well, uh, they knew that this Photoshop that came in from ICU. <laughs> the logo <laughs> changes everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's see. If, uh, oh, you know what? I bet his whole shit uh, powered down. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Uh, we also got a. We got this. Uh, Justin, can you? I don't. Uh, who is this man? This gentleman? I have no idea. Oh. I I saw this today in the doc, and and I did not get the reference. Normally, uh, you are the person who, who has... tells me what the Japanese reference <laughs> is. I don't know if this is supposed to be the guy that everyone says that I have hair like the. Um... No, that is not Shinsuke Nagamura, at least that I uh, initially uh, uh, was, uh, would, would recognize. I don't know. This is, I think, R. R made this? Uh, yeah, R, Dr. Arby made that one. I don't, uh, I don't quite oh, know. Oh, is, is that Nakamura? Okay, I guess it is. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Dr. I mean, Arby's it's not a picture, at least, of, yeah. of Shin, Shinsuke Nakamura that I, uh, that I recognized. Yeah, hmm. Uh, well, then also it said oh. something about like gold, like a gold thing. Uh, oh yeah, that was <clears> the the <throat> caption King of Gold Style dot JPEG in the in the doc. So. Uh, hey, by the by the way, I was able to see the uh, the browser's logo. Oh, good. Way, uh, <laughs> nicely done, gentlemen. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, the uh, I was asking like about enforcement on. DUIs and stuff because I would imagine like you say you know with the company town and stuff that's not great for business if there's heavy duty harsh enforcement on everybody leaving food and wine festival but on yeah. the other hand of course you want to be safe and uh, and the feedback I got was like there's a lot of like fortuitous hey man uh, you wrapping up for the night you heading over to your car he's like oh yeah it's like well, why don't we just give you a ride we'll take your car back with you too you know like this yeah. very proactive like, let's not even create a situation. Um, you know, let's let's preemptively, with awesome customer service, cause a situation not to occur. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's that's smart because it is kind of a fucking uh, roach motel, food and wine, <clears throat> because, like, there is no point in which you are staying, on, or, unless you're staying on property, where it is not at least a half hour from anywhere in Orlando to get to food and wine and <clears throat> food and wine is designed specifically with those bands. Well, I guess you get those at the hotel uh, to make you spend uh, as much money as possible throughout the entire process, which means getting as drunk as possible. Uh, so, you know, they, they gotta be smart. Yeah, no, but for reals, can we talk about this empanada that I had? It was $5. It was way good. So I mean I, I do remember the food being being uh, uh, pretty good. And I know you're making the bit about this empanada thing, uh, uh, but like like was there any other like food that you were like, damn, this is pretty this is a, this is a hell of a, a, a fifteen dollar one bite of filet mignon. I'm I'm only in two days in, um, so really, it's it's been the uh, the first stop which has empanadas and then uh, sushi and fish and chips. That's been the the Holy Trinity so far. But uh, I think next time I go, I'll start to get experimental because that's, that's, you know, the first thing you want to do is just run around and, and snort up nostalgia. Like it's, you know, just cocaine on a bathroom floor because that's something you snort, right? Yeah. Uh, no bathroom floors. Yeah, no, it's a big thing. <clears throat> uh, yeah, man. Hey, uh, since I've already killed the battery on this iPad, uh, uh, would I be a terrible person if I called it no, a little no, early? No, no, it's no, now, no. Go ahead, go ahead and get out of here. Uh, uh, Bryce and I can uh, can fart around a little bit yeah. uh, to fill out the after show, and then uh, okay, and then uh, and then the, we'll be we'll be good. But uh, go ahead and <sighs> by, uh, by the way, uh, everybody, thank uh, thank, thank Brian <laughs> I, for for uh, showing that video. That that's an amazing. <laughs> I was gift. about to say. I was about to say. I did not expect that video, and and more importantly, I'm so proud of how right your interpretation of every moment that entire time was a hundred percent dead on. It was amazing. 
Yeah. Uh, no, that's uh, that's a great moment in time. And Brian, I think this we got to do Big Diz. Oh my God! Yeah. Well, and oh, that, ooh, uh, I told I told happened. I told my friend about our heist when we went to the Hall of Presidents, and I told him yeah. first about the the origins on the track on Night Attack One, and then I uh, told him about the fact that we had twenty or thirty people spread out and do a heist. And it's like he got this twinkle in his eye. He's like, Brian, next time you do anything like this, you need to let me know and we will drive down from Chicago to be a part of it. This is incredible. <laughs> like he just thought it was it was the most amazing thing on the planet. <laughs> uh, all right. No, we're, we, we got to do big days. I feel like we should almost even like stake out a weekend and just make it holy and let people know six months out that on June, whatever date, uh, uh, we are going to go do Big Diz because it was fucking awesome and we needed to do it. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, you can tell the story of the Hall of Presidents since Br both you and Bryce were there, but oh, I'm yeah, going yeah. to peace right. out. Yeah. But uh, I'll catch you guys later. Bye, Brian. Have a good vacation. Uh, so. so the Hall of Presidents was, was it originally a story from you and something your friends would do, or was that an idea you guys came up with on Night Attack 1? Uh, that was a Brett and me idea where we were in Disney. He was there for the Go Game. It was before I worked for the Go Game, actually. And uh, we just had this idea that we had to pick a president and uh, cheer for them as loud as you can. Because there is a very... You know, hey, if you've never been to the Hall of Presidents, this is what the Hall of Presidents is. There's a Morgan Freeman narrated uh, study in presidency from a, a few different presidents that tell a few different kinds of stories. And it's like, a good it's a good little film. It's great. No, no, no. It's 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 fantastic. But the end is a very long, like almost un Disney like history lesson of who were the presidents. Like it almost, it borders on, if it, if they were not doing presidents, Disney would have changed his shit by now because yeah. like it was initially impressive because Disney was the only place that could do animatronics. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh my God, it's crazy. It's like the presidents are here, right? Yeah. Well, and, and so like, they're all sort of like organized on in this big tableau. And when, when one of them gets their name called, the light comes in and they, they do a little move and and yeah. uh, at the end there. How is it at the end? Is that, do well, it normally ends with the current president doing a little speech, uh, right. which apparently it has not reopened uh, because they don't want to make the Hall of Presidents something. I think they're still waiting for the politics to kind of die down. Yeah, this is uh, our clip from Big Diz earlier la or last year. Uh, well, so so the idea is that uh, you pick an early president that nobody really gives a shit about and you cheer very loud for them because what happens is uh, for everybody else, which by and large is uh, Hall of Presidents is 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 kind of a just I'm happy to get into air conditioning sort of ride. Yeah. Uh, you're just there. You watch a show. That's pretty much it. And, uh you get a lot of people that are not there because they give a fuck about the presidents. You know, mm -hmm. they're there because they want to be in air conditioning. And so if you set the expectation that what this show is really all about is you pick your favorite president and you start cheering for them, A, you find out people like weird presidents, and B, by the end of it, as we get into modern politics, the, 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 yells and hoots get louder because now it's like oh no but i really care about republicans and democrats now yeah so it's like nixon will get cheers and carter will get cheers and like all of these people that have you know folks have memories of but yeah. it's always really funny and no better was when we did it at big Diz and we actually were rolling with a fucking like you know, 30 mob crew. Yeah. And everyone like we, we had planned in the waiting room, like, okay, everyone's got to take one. And when you, when you got 30, you can start it off pretty early and like plant people. Uh, and it would be like, it, it was the sort of thing where it got so many other people involved, or at least it had the sensation of having so many people involved that when there was a president who came up and got no hoots, 
Yeah. It was it's it was like, a no, joke. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you, Millard Fillmore. People would laugh. Uh yeah. and they, that's so great. So Trey Warren asks uh, the pre the Hall of Presidents is shut down. It's not shut down. They just haven't added Trump, right? No, 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 no. It is shut down. They oh. have not turned it back on. Oh, yet because a, I think that they are they are hoping because I mean the Hall of Presidents is not a political thing. It, it is about the office of the president. It, it hopes to be about this very unique. Uh, molding of the nation job mm -hmm. and not necessarily about what people did while they were in it. Like even Andrew Jackson, who they focus on in the thing, uh, which is a very divisive president. Mm -hmm. They focus on how he had a connection with the people, you know, and how he wanted to demystify the idea of, of the presidency, yeah. which, you know, there's a reason why Trump has Andrew Jackson hanging in the Oval Office. Right. Yeah. Uh, there are there are elements there that I think would make the Hall of Presidents something that Disney doesn't want it to be right now. The only problem is, unless Twitter goes away, I don't think that we're ever going to get to a point where things are going to die down. You know. Yeah. Uh, and I I feel like I remember hearing stuff early on that it was like, oh well, they don't have a good speech for him to use, and you got crew members who are charged or, or I also think that they did make an announcement that he was not going to have the same kind of speech that oh, they yeah. normally do but that was that was something that I think that they wanted to do because it is kind of like in it's one thing if we're just electing a bunch of faceless bureaucrats that it's like oh give the fucking point Dexter some mic time right but if it's like you know you don't want to put the Disney mic in front of Trump and have it be like you know, and just like I fucking crushed Crooked Hillary, like, you know, like now I'm the president. Uh, uh, I'm the best uh, eat shit nerds. Like, mm -hmm. you don't you don't necessarily want that. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good point. Uh, WJ says, well, uh, you know, if it only goes down every eight or four years, they'd have to do a massive retrofit every time. But I mean, that's the sort of thing where it's like it gets touched up constantly, I'm sure. Uh, and by the way, no, no, I think that they do it specific for the Hall of Presidents. I think Disney goes and records the president for the ride. Right. So. Um, um, yeah, I would love to do that again. I, I feel like uh, I think I picked. Uh, I picked a. I picked. I think I picked FDR, and I meant to pick Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, FDR gets cheers, man. Yeah. I mean that's a that's a big uh, that's a big press. No, you got to get one of the one of them, like, post founding fathers, pre Lincoln presidents. Like those are the ones that, like, like the, that that that's prime stoke in the fire. Uh, 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 sassy stuff. Do they sing while your pizzas come out? No, <laughs> the, all the presidents does not do that. Weird. They should do that. Make it a food court. You know what? Maybe that's what it is. The dining hall of presidents. It's a huge retrofit. I have that at USA at Epcot. That's kind of, oh, really? uh, they don't have animatronic presidents. That would be a good idea though. Uh, yeah. It's like, now I actually just want to look, look for, I really want to just put a date on the calendar and say, this is when big Biz is happening. Because this always goes well, right? This is a great thing that uh, <laughs> Brian and I do is uh -huh. we just uh, start willy-nilly promising shit. So people come to Bryce <laughs> and say, hey, when is this really happening? And then Bryce and says, like, I don't know. They haven't talked about it in six months. <laughs> yes to all of that. Yeah, this is a great. This is one of our it's favorite. A it's a classic thing. bit here on the Night Attack show a after classic show. Classic bit. <laughs> Um, so what was 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 CreateCon was over a weekend, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was that Friday. It was. It was one day. No, was it one day or two? It was one day. It was a one day con, and then we did. So it was like a Saturday con. We did Big Diz on Sunday. On Sunday and went back on Monday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So then we did June eighth, ninth, and tenth. 
And it was like eighth, we fuck around, have like a, a night reception. Ninth, we just combine all the shows that we all do together and alone, right? In in a one day thing, make it a little less than Create Con, where it's not like it's it's a little bit more cash. It's literally just like finding a space in a in a hotel to record shit, right? Yeah. Um. And then oh, so put on a put on a whole convention alongside it. No, we just do a few live shows, like just because that's part of the reason why people are there, right? Like if we're all there around the idea of the shows, and then also like, so we do maybe shows in the morning and then a night at at uh, Disney. I guess the thing is, I want to make it economical for people where they don't necessarily have to buy two park two days of park hopper, you know? Mm, I see. Well, I'll leave that to your judgment. I uh, not versed in the Disney, the Disney lore. Uh, do you want to do a couple of these uh, Halloween costume contests? Yeah, let's. I, I got a couple more of these in me. Okay. Uh, this one uh, was. I, I wonder if you'll get this just on the name, cozy blue fish costume. Cozy blue fish costume. This is forty dollars. Price guaranteed. Oh, Dory? It is Dory. Nailed. It looks like a like a fucking robe. The material on it does not look it any good. Fucking, like jabber jaws. Get the fuck out of here. Maybe maybe they forgot how to make this shit sexy. And it's just another like hooded mini or mini dress. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yo, she has mental problems. <laughs> she won't remember what you did. Oh, Christ, Justin. Fucked up, man. I don't know why they wrote that in the description. <laughs> How about a uh, Catch Me Honey costume? This one's uh, $40. Catch Me Honey. Oh, shit. It's not Cash Me Outside Girl, is it? No, but that would be good. I wonder if that's too normcore to make a... Uh, no, you could make a sexy costume for that. I mean, <laughs> if anything, it would just be like, no, I, like, I don't want to really pretend like I'm a, of a fan of her music. Uh, catch me honey costume. Catch uh, me honey costume. Uh oh, people are saying Winnie the Pooh. Mm, no, I see, I see uh, that. Uh, uh, yeah. Is is it a commercial? Is it a commercial? A commercial? Yeah. Is it from a commercial? No. Well, it is. commercials have been made about this thing, but it is not. Yeah, a, it's not a specifically. It's not a commercial. So it's not the fucking. Uh, honey Nut Cheerios B. No, it's not. All right. Is it Catch Me Honey costume? Cut, catch Me Honey costume. Oh, sh oh shit! So it's not no, it's not the Lucky Charms leprechaun. That'd be a commercial too. Um, is it Bert from Bert's Bees? Says Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Is it uh, all right? Uh, is it from a TV show? Yes. Is it Pikachu? It is Pikachu. Oh shit! See, this one's it's even got the little tail. Yeah. I gotta catch them all. She was crying because she got into an argument with her friend. It's only 11 o'clock at the bar. She's dressed like Pokemon. Her friend was dressed like Squirtle. There was a Squirtle one that almost almost ended up on this list here. That's, uh, it. At, that's the end of the night. <laughs> what is... Okay, I... Uh, okay, here we go. Fatal Attraction Sexy Comic Book Villain Costume. Oh my god, that's a mouthful. I know. Fatal Attraction Sexy Comic Book Villain Costume. 66.75. Electra. No. Fuck. Yep, for real. Daredevil Season 2. Check that shit out. That's not far away. All right. Fatal Attraction Sexy. But, all right, it's not Harley Quinn again, is it? It's not Harley Quinn. I was going to do a whole block of Harley Quinn when uh, when we were just going off of names, but no, it's not. Fatal Attraction Sexy Comic Book Villain Costume. By the way, if you uh, if you didn't catch that link, it's bit.ly slash na costume. 
you want to see this and more. Uh, all right. Uh, want to ask some questions? Yeah. Uh, was it from a movie within the last five years? Ooh, you're going to have to give me a second to look at that. From a movie from the last five years? Comic book movie in the last five years. Uh... Oh, by the way, big ups for uh, coming up with the URL. Like that's uh, mm. that that's great because I would love to uh, make that a bigger a bigger part because I know some people b- b- fucking like get turned off whenever it's like oh it's a fucking visual bit. Sure. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, if they've been in a movie in the last five years. A live action movie? Not most recently. Let me see if there's been one. I don't believe live action, no. Is it Catwoman? It's not Catwoman. Is it Poison it's, Ivy? Is Catwoman a villain? Yeah. Uh, it is Poison Ivy. Nice. This is her uh, very literal costume. Shit looks like the Green Lantern. <laughs> well, and it's like, it, it's just like, kind of looks like actual poison ivy leaves, maybe? Like, it is a motif like of actual poison ivy leaves. It just looks like fucking jagged edges. <laughs> yeah. Like, it is, it is the motif of the motif of poison ivy. It's one layer of abstraction too far. Uh, here we go. Oh, we played this in the. In- I, I don't. I don't. I don't want to be that guy who's like, ah, fucking women with the comic books, and they never do the comic books right. But I think actual women who give a fuck about comic book characters making their shit would be like, that's that's some garbage. The, yeah, they're not. These and all of all of these are coming from lingerie websites. These are just role playing costumes that. Oh really? I'm sure. Uh, okay, here we go. Unbreakable heroin costume. We played this in the pre-show. This one's got a little bit of a twist on it. Unbreakable heroin costume. Okay, so it's a sexy Mr. Glass. <laughs> no. <laughs> Unbreakable heroin costume. In fact, there's not... This this one's tough because there's very little to go off of from the title. Yeah, <laughs> Kimmy Schmidt. <laughs> no. Uh, is Unbreakable Heroin. Who does heroin famously? Who's great at doing heroin? Is it Keith Richards? <laughs> it's not, oh no, it's not, it's not, it's not the drug heroin. <laughs> oh, Unbreakable Heroin. Heroin. Like, I gotcha, okay. Not, yeah. Um... And I'll take two answers for this because uh, when we played it, uh, 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 people were putting me in my place about no, not knowing this shit. Of course, oh, I don't know this shit. shit. Is it Mr. Fantastic? It is not Mr. Fantastic. A sexy lady, Mr. Fantastic? <laughs> no, Ms. Fantastic. Uh, well, I mean, that'd be like his side piece or like his, 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 his like illegitimate daughter because he's like obviously married to uh, Sue daughter? Storm, the invisible oh. woman. Fucking nerd. Get your shit together. <laughs> Uh, no, it's not. It's not any Fantastic Four member. Okay. Um, <laughs> Unbreakable heroine Courtney Love. <laughs> Sexy Rosa Parks says uh, 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 Tempest. Poop is, Tempest. Is, is, it, is it Wolverine? Uh, I'll take Wolverine. Uh, everyone was telling me it was more likely to X twenty three. Yeah. No, that's not X-23. Right? No, that's Wolverine. That's I'm, the classic Wolverine look. Yeah, of course. His spaghetti straps and... Yeah. The, you know, he shows off, you know, the, that fucking the coochie cutter and... Yeah. No, everyone was telling me it was X-23. Actually, the Bumblebee Man from The Simpsons. <laughs> 
You know, the, so the men's costumes on these websites have the strangest selection of things, right? So, like, half of it is is different Prince Charming royalty shit. Yeah. But then there's also, like, Duff Man from The Simpsons. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, uh, Subatomic Man from The Simpsons. A lot but, of uh, Simpsons move merch, huh? Yeah. Uh, there are a, a bunch of, like... Family Guy ones with these weird masks. Oh my god. About the fucking Wolverine costume, 9 of 12 says he'd never wear that belt. Curtis LaRock gets back, not with those shoes. <laughs> yeah, there's a red belt. You don't, you don't wear black shoes with a red belt. Uh, here we go. Evil Mastermind Hottie costume. Oh, is that fucking uh, Gru? No, but now I want to see a sexy Gru costume. Well, I'm going to type into an incognito window. Sexy <laughs> Gru. Oh, own it. Own it. <laughs> sexy mastermind, huh? Oh, boy. Look, oh, look at this mask. Oh, God. Oh, uh, well, fuck that. They just fucking flesh painted a, a, a what's it called? A, a Grinch mask. <laughs> Is that where the eye hole is? Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, Sex I think I saw one. Mastermind. Kim Jong-un? No, not, not, six, not, not Kim Jong-un. Evil Mastermind Hottie costume. Evil Mastermind Hottie. Kim Jong-il. <laughs> nope. Oh, uh, fuck. Oh, the sexy school principal tripped me up. I thought that would be crew. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Megamind, the DreamWorks animation. <laughs> no, it's not Megamind. Is it Dr. Evil? Dr. Evil, no. Stalin. <laughs> it's not Stalin. Lenin. No, it's not quite Lenin. Joseph Lenin. Uh, John Lennon. John Lennon, yeah. The evil mastermind <laughs> of the Beatles, John Lennon. <laughs> no, uh, the evil mastermind hottie costume for only $34.95 is a uh, Riddler. Oh, well, that shit just also looks like her ovaries. <laughs> right? That's not... <laughs> I don't know. It's like, oh, we can't make a question mark, so we'll just make her ovaries. <laughs> well, they do clearly make one. But they have to make an opposite side one so that it doesn't l look like a question mark. Ugh. Crazy. Yeah. It doesn't come with the top hat either. Or the cane. What? Really? Yeah. The, can you, like, get that as an add-on? You can, conveniently. Yeah. Well. And fucking uh, riddle me this. Did you wear a condom? All right, that'll do it for the for outtakes on, on the Halloween costume. That was that ended up working out really well. Uh, no, that was a great that was a great job by you and uh, everybody. Uh, know that Bryce uh, has a a lot on his plate when uh, <laughs> when Brian is not only totally absent but also uh, uh, re remote. You know, uh, that's uh, that's that's a big 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 thing. So uh, big ups to the Bryceman. For uh, getting everything done. And uh, yeah, man, I guess uh, we will see y'all. Uh, shit, wait. Do you want to wrap it up? Can well, I shoot? I don't know. Yeah, I think I think we do need to wrap it up. But also, um, I don't know if we can say that we got some big fun stuff coming up in November. Oh, we do. Uh, oh, right, right, right. I don't know if we can say it. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll find out like, this week if we can say it. Yeah, I, we need to ask because I think we sent them everything that we needed to send them to do it in time. Yeah. Um, can we? Do, do you mind if we go out on one one last clip though? From oh sure. yeah yeah oh no no let's do it from yeah your friend and mine OMG Chad I think he was doing some sort of uh, marathon. It's, it's okay, it's you put the sticker on. Is that your penis? Then you you put the tower on the circle on the circle. You put the tower on the circle. The tower goes on the circle. <laughs> God. <laughs> Did your pants just run? <laughs> oh my God. 
Was that Daniel? <laughs> can I? Can I just look? Yeah, can, it's, okay. There you go. So that's what I mean, Chad's up to. Know, and I've always said that kid's got a hell of a dick. You know, <laughs> it's, it's just, it's a great dick on that kid. You know, he's, it's an overachiever. He's a great dick. He's a hell of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, we'll wrap it up here. I uh, hope you, we see you guys uh, pretty soon. You got any shows coming up this week that you want to let people know about? Ah, fuck. I forgot to plug uh, Philly, 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 Philly. I'll be in uh, PAX Unplugged on uh, November 18th. Ooh. 18th. I will be in Philadelphia uh, uh, on a playground is not where I will be uh, spending most of my day. I'll be at PAX Unplugged giving a talk with John and uh, hope to have by next week uh, nailed down the uh, might do a live show. Up there in old Philly. Ooh, very cool. Well, everybody keep a lookout for that. Um, I'll be around doing some streams on, on the channel, I'm sure, at some point. Yeah. Uh, if you want to find that, that clip of OMG Chad, that is in our Discord, nightattack.tv slash Discord. Check okay, it. get into that Discord, baby. Lots of good stuff. Oh, and hey, by the way, thank you to everybody who uh, I think we had a we had a great we had a great talk in, 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 in the Discord. Mm -hmm. Uh mm -hmm. and let me just say this as we kind of sign out here. Uh uh, I, I feel very, very tight with this community and, and kind of always have, but I feel like what we are doing now, both with the, the, the Twitch and Discord kind of like migrations over this year is kind of setting the template for the future, not only of this show's community, but this community kind of like writ large. And I'm very excited about it on, on every level. And I think that like we had a, we had a great talk in the Discord over, over the last weekend. And I think that was awesome. Yeah, and if you ever have a, a comment or critique or, or anything you want to share, uh, please, you have all of our email addresses. Uh, we just had some some uh, good comments earlier today, uh, and we directed them to the email addresses of the people directly involved. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, these shows uh, are better because of you guys, so uh, let us know what you like and don't like. Boom. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, let's raid. Uh, you you want to raid DKG? Yeah, let's go. Let me pull up and see what Drunk Kids Gaming is doing. I'm gonna pinch Curly right on the butt, and I don't give a fuck if it's sexual assault. I'm just gonna let everybody know right now. Let's can, can that be the message that we raid with? Pinch Curly in the butt. I'm gonna pinch. Uh, the jury's gonna pinch Curly right in the butt. Okay, that'll be it. Jury's gonna pinch Curly right in the butt. So wait until the host right when when uh, when it clicks over for the host. Uh, you guys uh, go on and 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 do that. Let's see. Host drunk kids gaming. Are right, you guys ready? So I'm gonna cut it down. Uh, no, he's playing uh the Evil Within two with uh Sam. My buddy Sam. You can hear a little bit about what they're doing. Sacrifice himself so you could escape. All right, here we go. He wasn't my partner. Hosting. He was just a member of Union Security Detail. It's still out of fucking Protecting life, you son of a. Was his job, and my job is to solve this a hard Yeah, uh, Castellanos is the second. Damn, how did that work? What's up, Night Attack crew? Thanks for the host. Brian, I Justin, you just blew Neshcom, God damn it! Hello and welcome. Holy shit! Hi. Jury is going to pinch you in the butt. The soldier would have taken the safety up. Uh, jury, anytime, my good dude. Are you coming <laughs> to TwitchCon? God damn it! Are you coming to our bonfire you. on Thursday? We're on the same side. Someone tell jury there's a fucking bonfire on Thursday. Let's try this again. I'm Sebastian Castellanos. Right. You better ask. Ask for permission first. Sorry, that was a lot of fucking hosts. Oh my god. Um, hello mm. everyone from Diamond Club. You guys know me as Curly. I'm not actually mm. playing the game mm. this time. My good friend Sam Hears over here, so who makes music Mobius, and has cool mustachios and loves root beer what? like any other. And has the uh, emotional I'm tolerance to, to be able to play uh, Just with two on survival yeah. mode without auto aim on. Was that a... I'm done. I'm just I would have auto aim on and be on casual. Uh, you. All right, buddy. Bryce. I would be real soft if I had to do that. Hold on. Right.